Hey everyone, welcome back to my studio. Today I wanted to share with you something personal and exciting. The works from my upcoming exhibition, Reminiscencia, Reminiscence. I've been reflecting a lot lately because I'm about to hit a pretty big milestone. Yeah, I'm turning 50. And with that, I've been looking back at my life, half of it spent in Puerto Rico where I grew up, and the other half right here in the United States. It's been like I've lived two lives. 25 years submerged into this rich analog experience back when we were connected more to nature, face-to-face -face conversations, that tangible world, and then 25 years of digital where everything has shifted, especially the way we interact, create, and perceive the world. This show really pulls from that duality, from that analog past and this heavily digital present. So today I wanted to walk you through some of these pieces and talk a little bit about how these, those experiences have shaped the work you'll see. And let's start with this painting, El Iniciado, which is a self-portrait much younger, of course, where I'm being initiated into art. This was a time that I was uh, living in Puerto Rico, sitting there with my sketchbook, you know, completely absorbed in the moment. No distractions from phones or notifications. This was a time of pure analog experience where art was hands-on and every experience felt real, direct, and uninterrupted. The wheel in this painting represents that cyclical nature of memory and reflection. Like the saying, know thyself, which has been key for me as an artist, it's like when you're young, you're just soaking everything up, creating, but you don't yet realize how important those moments will become later in life when you are looking back. And here's La Gitana, which is inspired by the high priestess archetype from the tarot. This piece has more of a nighttime introspective vibe, just really about turning into intuition and those quieter moments in life. Something that was central of my, to my experiences growing up. And it's interesting because even now with all the tech we have around us, I still find myself drawn to this idea of balancing reason with intuition, intellect with instinct. The book and the tarot cards she holds are symbolic of that. But here's the thing, the digital world we live in now has us constantly looking for answers, constantly seeking knowledge. But the truth is that we also need to trust that inner voice, that old school analog way of feeling out the world. You know, it's, it's something I think about a lot, especially as we keep moving deeper into this tech driven society. Now, this one is a bit of a trip for me. 8-Bit Sacred Heart. It's a reimagining of the sacred heart of Jesus, but with a twist that comes from my childhood. I grew up in the 80s, so I'm part of the first generation that got hooked on video games. So here I've taken the sacred heart image and pixelated it, turning it into something that looks more like an old school 8-bit video game. It's kind of a reflection of how things like gaming and screens have become such a central part of our lives. Like back when I was playing those games, I was just, it was just fun and innocent, but little did we know how screens would basically take over our lives. It's funny because while I spent the first 25 years of my life with minimal technology, mostly analog experiences like reading, drawing, and being out in nature, now screens are everywhere and it's not just video games it's social media algorithms you name it we've almost built a new kind of digital religion where we devote so much time and energy to these technologies and then we get to a piece like revelation revelation which brings together a lot of these personal myths and symbols that i've been working with for the past 22 years at the time of this painting. This was painted back in 2021, and it ties so many stages in my life 
Here you've got figures from the tarot, elements from my childhood memories, from both Puerto Rico and the US, and dreams I've had over the years. In this piece, you see the central figure, the Madonna and child. You've got a blend of Catholic iconography with a computer code flowing through down her robe and a nod to the intersection of the analog and the digital in my life. That mix of traditional symbols with digital ones really encapsulates how I've lived half of my life in each world. It makes me think about how much we've shifted from a more tactile, real world way of interacting with the world to one that's filtered through screens. In a way, Revelation is about that very human struggle to balance those two sides, to remember our past and roots, while I'm trying to navigate this hyper-connected world. Ascent of the Goddess is another piece that reflects this tug of war between nature and civilization. The old ways and the new. The central panel here shows a tower torn apart, an obvious reference to the Tower of Babel, but also a symbol of human ambition, whether that's in ancient times or today. The goddesses in this piece, Isis, Ishtar, and Nemesis, represent different archetypes that remind us of the power of the feminine and the cycles of life balanced between creation and destruction. I think as I get closer to 50, I'm becoming more aware of these cycles, the rise and fall of things, how nature always finds a way to balance itself out. Maybe that's why I find myself looking back these experiences, half in Puerto Rico, half in the United States, and how those places shaped me as an artist. I think that duality between the natural and the technological, the past and the future, is at the core of what this show and this body of work really stands for. This is Añoranza, a very personal piece. It's all about nostalgia. It's a portrait of my dear friend Cesar Villanueva, who passed away in in 2020. He's dressed up as a jibaro, a humble Puerto Rican peasant, looking out over the coast of Aguadilla at sunset. This was this one was tough for me because it's not just a tribute to Cesar, but also a reflection on loss and memory. You'll notice the UFO in the sky and the plane symbolizing all the times he left Puerto Rico for opportunities in the US. And the UFO sightings, of course. Like the 61 pennies around the frame, which was his age at the time he passed away. Well, Cesar used to compare himself to a penny, you know, the least valuable coin. He even pointed out that the penny faces the opposite direction of the other coins, like him always going against the flow. This painting is all about those moments when you feel torn between two places, between where you come from and where you go to find a better life. That sense of longing, of looking back, but also moving forward, it's something I've felt too, living half my life on the island and half here in the US. And now we have here Entre Tierras, the largest piece in the show. This painting is all about migration, feeling in between, between lands, between experiences. The people and animals on this boat are traveling from greener pastures towards a desolate industrial land, cityscape. For me, this is not just about physical migration, but also about emotional and psychological migration. I've experienced it myself, moving from Puerto Rico to the US, leaving behind the familiarity of the island for the opportunities of the mainland. It's a reflection of the reality many of us face, having to leave what we love for what we need. The boat, the journey, the people, they're all like modern day fools, navigating between the past and the present, the analog and digital worlds, nature and technology. It's a deeply personal, but also a commentary on what so many others experience when they're uprooted from their homeland. So yeah, this is Reminiscencia, Reminiscence. Personal, but it's also universal in a way. We're all grappling with 
these same things, how technology changes us, how we hold on to our roots while moving into the future. For me, turning 50 is a big moment because I've been, I've seen both worlds half analog, half digital. And now as an artist, I get to explore that, what that means through my work. So thanks for joining me today and letting me share these pieces with you. The show opens on October 19. It's at Heidi Vaughn Fine Art in Houston. I hope you get to see some of you there. Until then, take care and remember to find that balance between the old and the new. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for sticking around till the end. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss out on future content. Also, check out the video on the screen right now for more insights and inspiration. Your support means everything to me and helps this channel grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.